David here with Fig Boot on Pens. Today I have for you a, a relatively new pen from Monteverde, uh, and that is the Rodeo Drive. Uh, what I'm going to do today is go over the parts and the features of this unique pen, uh, talk about what I care for and what I don't care for, I'll show some measurements, some size comparisons, and provide a writing sample. Uh, thanks go out to Ryan, a loyal viewer who purchased this pen and then sent it to me so that I could check it out. Uh, I don't think he even inked it up before sending it out, so I appreciate his patience uh, in the time it's taken me to turn this review around. Uh, Monteverde is a U.S.-based company which started back in uh, 1979, uh, and it's uh, currently a division of the uh, Jaffa Pen Company. Uh, if you're not familiar with Rodeo Drive, uh, it's a street in Beverly Hills, California, uh, which is a suburb of Los Angeles. Uh, Beverly Hills is actually, actually kind of butts up against the Los Angeles city border. Uh, like many other things in Southern California, uh, Rodeo Drive uses the uh, Spanish pronunciation, so it's Rodeo, not Rodeo. Uh, uh, after all, it used to be Mexico down there. Uh, the name of the street is actually in reference to the name of the ranch that was originally uh, sitting on the property where the street lies today. Uh, the street actually contained uh, a lot of local non-high-end stores until the late 1960s uh, when a couple of high-end stores opened for business and the uh, street was eventually transformed into a, an international center of luxury fashion shopping. Uh, Beverly Hills is a fun place to visit. There are some great restaurants and it's uh, fun to pretend like you have money sometimes. Uh, yeah, it's funny because there, there are not too many places where you find a very distinct border between two cities in the United States. But when you're driving down Sunset Boulevard, uh, it's just a normal urban sprawl. There's office buildings and strip malls uh, on uh, down up and down the street. And on one side of the street, that's what's there. And then on the other side of the street, uh, then all of a sudden there's some impeccably trimmed hedges and it's very clean. Uh, just by crossing the street, you realize you're in a much different place. There's really a drastic change from one side of the street to the other as soon as you get into Beverly Hills. So let's actually take a look at the pen. It arrives in this box, in this sleeve. Um, this is a pretty standard Monteverde box. It's a green faux leather with some embossed lettering and a logo on top. The top flips open and underneath we have a little bit of uh, documentation and there is a uh, if I can get that out of here, a couple of standard international cartridges. Looks like one blue and one black. And then we have the pen. Uh, this is the Monteverde Rodeo Drive. Um, the pen is metal. Uh, it's made of a thin brass that's not overly heavy. Uh, there are a few different versions of this pen. There's a, a blue and a black and an orange and a green version. And each of those has a, a chrome plated cap and a chrome plated section. Uh, those models are actually called uh, the Stardust. But this model here is called the Polaris. Uh, and it really stands out from the others in a good way. Uh, the Rodeo Drive Polaris is enhanced with a hand metallic lacquer, which is, or a handmade metallic lacquer that is really, really unique. Um, that it really changes colors depending on the way the light hits the pen and the angle that you look at it. Uh, it really shifts from a light violet to a metallic blue. We'll see how well we can pick that up on the camera. Um, it's really the distinguishing feature of this pen, and I, I think it looks really great. Uh, I, I don't feel it's too gimmicky, uh, and I think it really adds to the look of this pen. So let's start out by taking a look at the end of the cap. Uh, on the end, there's a metal insert with the Monteverde Mountain logo. Uh, the end is rounded, uh, and the remainder of the cap is straight with ridges. Uh, I think these ridges are pretty cool. I like them a lot. The clip on the uh, is a bit on the thin side, uh, but it's functional, and it fits well with the aesthetics of the rest of the pen. Uh, at the end of the cap, uh, we have a band that on one side says Monteverde USA, and on the other side is the name of the pen, Rodeo Drive. Uh, there is a multi-layered step down to the barrel, which is smooth, devoid of ridges, uh, and it's straight until about this point right here, and then it tapers down. Uh, and then the end, the end of the barrel, there is an elongated black metal piece, which is rounded at the end. 
you know, I was debating whether or not I would uh, like it if the barrel also had the ridges. Um, now, the uh, the smooth barrel is a little susceptible to fingerprints, so given the choice, I'd prefer the ridges to be on the barrel as well. I kind of like the tactile feeling of it, uh, but it's really not a major issue. The cap actually twists off to reveal this black number six nib. Um, this particular one is a fine, but it's also available in medium, broad, and on some sites I've seen a stub option as well. Uh, on the bottom of the nib, it's stamped with Monteverde USA, but then it also has Monteverde on the shoulder. Uh, I'm not quite sure why they have the company name on the nib twice. Um, I don't recall seeing any other company do that. Uh, I actually think it would look a bit nicer if the name on the bottom was left off and it just had the angled one on the shoulder. Uh, just having that one askew would uh, be a little different. I will give them credit though for having the mountain ridge go through the exact middle of the breather hole. Uh, if that would have been off center, it would have looked, uh, it wouldn't have looked as nice in my opinion. And here's a look at the plastic feet. The section is metal. Uh, it begins with a ring and then it's concave and transitions into a straight portion and then the threads. Uh, the section is a bit on the long side uh, and I find it to be comfortable. Uh, even though it is metal, the black finish helps provide a solid grip and, and I don't find it to be slick at all. Uh, the cap does post and it posts securely. Uh, since this is a metal pen, the cap does add a bit of weight to the back of the pen, but I don't find that it throws off the balance of the pen too much, so I could use it either way. This is a cartridge converter pen. Uh, it accepts standard international cartridges and comes with a threaded converter. The Monteverde Rodeo Drive retails for just under $70, uh, which I feel is a very reasonable price for what you receive with this pen. Uh, I am really impressed with the looks. I feel that the, the color changing finish is really cool uh, without being very gaudy. And I feel that on this particular pen, the black tr uh, nib uh, and trim look great. And it fits in well aesthetically with the rest of the pen. Um, having a silver colored nib or silver colored trim on this particular pen uh, wouldn't have looked as nice as it does right now. Uh, this is actually a pen I might consider picking up for myself. It has a lot going for it. So thanks again, go out to Ryan for the loan of this pen. I appreciate it. It'll be hitting back to you shortly. So now it's time for some measurements size comparisons, and a writing sample. Here we go with some size comparisons for the Monteverde Rodeo Drive Polaris. Uh, and here it is with a Visconti Wall Street. Then here it is with a Parker Dual Fold Centennial Big Red. Uh, and then here it is with an Aurora Optima. And in regard to some other pens, uh, here it is with a Lamy Safari in the petrol. Then here it is with a Twisby Diamond 580. Uh, and here it is with a Platinum Cool. So here we go with the writing sample for the Monteverde. Rodeo Drive. Uh, we'll say it's the Polaris. This is actually a fine nib. It's a fine steel nib. Uh, and the ink that I'm using is one that I thought would match well with this pen, which is Organic Studio. Walden Pond. Uh, this is what the ink looks like. 
Now, I normally do ink comparisons, but with this one, I, you know, there wasn't anything that it was going to match with. Uh, as you can tell, that this is kind of a kind of a, a bluish green, but it has a ton of sheen. So it, it's more sheen than it is color. So uh, that I really didn't have anything else to compare it to. If it was just the color, yes, but I have nothing that sheens quite like this. Uh, these are the bottles that it comes in. It's a nice size bottle, uh, and I like the size of it and the, the shape of it. It makes it easy to get the ink out of there, but it's a decent, uh, a decent ink. So here we go with the rest of the writing sample. I do find that uh, it does hard start every once in a while, but I have a feeling that that's more to do with the ink. Uh, the, the ink does have a tendency to kind of dry up a little bit, and then with this fine nib, that isn't doing it uh, any uh, any favor. So if you have it uncapped for a while, at least the combination of this nib with that ink, uh, sometimes you might get a hard start. Uh, but with a fine nib, you're not going to get a ton of line variation, especially a, a steel nib. Uh, but this one is very pleasant um, that I'd say it doesn't have a, a huge amount of, of feedback. I'd say it's more kind of like a, a drag on here, kind of like the uh, duller pencil drag than a, uh, than a feedback, but it's nice. Uh, and in regard to reverse writing, it performs well. Uh, and then as far as ink flow goes, for a fine nib, it's not that bad. And in regard to some fast writing, it performs just fine. So there we have the Monteverde Rodeo Drive Polaris. Uh, I think it's a very interesting pen with a, uh, a very interesting texture and color scheme to it. Uh, and it's one that I'm glad I had a chance to take a look at. So thanks again, go out to Ryan for letting me check it out. So until next time, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. David here with Fig Boot on Pens. Uh, today I have a pen for you David here with Fig Boot on Pens. Uh, today